All right, so we are going camping this weekend. Just got everything loaded up. We are, the kids are in the car, the bunny is in the car, the dog is in the car, the turtles are fed. The bird is fed. They will be happy until we return. We are just going for a few days. I did not help pack up. Um, <laughs> I literally was doing calculus and work and I was not very helpful. So everything's just thrown in here. Started. Are we ready to go camping? Yeah. Ready yeah. to go camping, Bruce? Yep. Ready to go camping, Milo? Yeah, Bruce ripped off my imagination. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. yeah Racy. Race Michael. Be nice to your brother. Okay? We're going to have a great weekend? Yeah. Look at these little loves. Yes, I take my bunny camping. It's a little crazy, but I love crazy. him. Cause we're crazy. You're perfect. Made it, made it, made it camping. Made it, made it, made it. I plan on being sleep in the morning. I'm gonna be up partying all night, sleep in the morning. Party all night, sleep in the morning. Brucey! Let's go get the babes. Woohoo! Watch out! Come here! Why didn't it start? I have to and I don't have to go. Oh, okay. So that kind of looks like on the top. Yeah, we have to take the roof off because the new tires, it doesn't fit in the garage. Got Milo set up. Here is how it looks. Just leveling it. It gets a little funky with everything shifting around. This is the boys like bunkhouse and it doubles as the garage. This is where the golf cart was. It doesn't fit like our big razor and we didn't bring that this time camping, but it does hold the, <laughs> but it does hold the golf cart, which is nice. What? Yeah, that's your backpack. Rice packed his backpack with his toys. So we just store everything like the trash can we store up here. And then mine and Nick's rocking chairs we store inside as opposed to under the camper. The bunny cage was stored right here. Find it. I'm gonna go through and organize, get everything put away so that we can enjoy our weekend, have a good weekend camping, um, make the beds, organize all the food. The refrigerator and freezer's been running the whole time we were driving, so that's nice and cold. Um, the stove is dirty. The boys took this to um, like a car show last time they used it and I just went for one day, so. I'm expecting it's not gonna be as clean as it is when I leave it, but I'll clean it, don't worry. So, are we gonna make your bed first? Yeah. Do you want me to make your bed first? Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's do your bed first. So this converts to a bed, and then these two recline so that you can sleep more people. Back here, Enzo sleeps in the bunk, and they have a nice little TV up here, which we don't ever use while we're camping. But, your sleeping bag. Papa made this for Enzo because he had fallen off of this and it was terrifying. So this is what Rice is talking about his dogs. It's Paw Patrol. There's your sleeping bag. You're welcome. So that's where Enzo sleeps. Papa made this. Didn't he do such a good job? Like he even cut it out so it fits like it looks like y'all doesn't that look like it was made for the camper? You wouldn't even know if I didn't tell you. So Papa is my husband's father and his name's Eric. He builds the most beautiful furniture. He built all the furniture in my boys' rooms. He actually has an online through Facebook. I'm gonna link it below. If you guys are interested, you should check out his furniture. Like he makes some really beautiful furniture. I believe it's called Eric's Pine Creations. 
Eric's Pine Creations or Pine Wood Creations. I think it's just Eric's Pine Creations on Facebook. Like I said, though, I'm gonna link that below for you guys because look at that. You wouldn't even know. And he did that in like 2.2 seconds, guys. Protecting his little baby. Enzo is his baby. This right here is Royce's bed. And it stores up out of the way. So obviously the garage stuff can fit in here. Roycey, calm down. Let mommy do this. I was gonna sweep, but he's being so impatient. I'll sweep after. Dang these hood rat hoochie mama nails. Why do I have to do hood rat things? You want to put the out? Yeah, I was having a hard time with my hoochie mama nails. This one's like, Daddy. Daddy. I see you, buddy. I see you. Daddy. I see you. Daddy. I see you. Daddy. All right. Mom, that's a sweet boy. Right. I ain't going. That's Dottie's. I don't know if you guys have ever heard me call. Enzo Dottie. So Royce, as you know, is <laughs> Royce is non-verbal emotionally delayed. He's the smartest boy. And he's talking more and more every day. But he calls Enzo his older brother Dottie. Like D-O-D-D-Y or I-E. I don't even know. He's made this up and that's just his nickname now. That's brothers. No, I keep. That key is a knife. That's brother's camping. No, a key. Okay. That's brother's camping. <laughs> so anyways, if you hear me say Dottie, it's Enzo. And Royce we call Toad <laughs> or Toadie because we used to joke that he was Enzo's Toad and Enzo was Mario. So if you're wondering where these nicknames come from, y'all know I'm a weirdo, but that's where they come from. I'm gonna open up the windows per next request. Come on. What? I gotta close the door. <laughs> so funny. I'm just gonna go through and open up the windows and get some air flowing. It is so hot. It was 90 degrees in the springs where we came from. And as we were driving up, it did drop to 82, I think. 82, 83, something like that. and one blanket. Enzo steals this blanket from me all the time. So I finally just told him he could have it. He just, I think he just loves it. He's a mama's boy. There's his little Among Us guy. Enzo listened, he brought one and one. All right, now I'm going to do my room. 
Mom's room. Here is my room. All my pillows and blankets. Did Nick bring his pillow? I want to see mine. Oh no, there it is. Okay. I was going to say. I sleep with three pillows. And you'll have to fight me for one of them. <laughs> So let's see how he did the clothes. Okay, he did the clothes exactly how I do. Here's my stuff. There is my stuff. I just throw all my stuff in the closet. I don't like organize it and put it in the drawers. I could, but we're just camping. There's another closet right here. When we go on long, like two week vacations, we utilize more. Okay, so. This is a little messy, but I'll take it. Not bad. I just couldn't do it. And then here's the boys' stuff. Okay, there we go. If y'all have any tips or tricks on the easiest way to make a camper bed, let me know. Half the time I think, let me make one end and just flip the dang thing over, but that's just me being crazy. All right, one more corner. I will win. Here we go. No, I got it. This is a full queen, right? It's not a camper, like short. Right, I thought so. I was just thinking about like our last camper was a short. And this one's not. Now, like I said, Enzo would fight me for that pink one, but this one I will not let the kids have. It was a Christmas present to myself. It has a little RV on it and it says shitter's full. This is my blanket. The kids do. They will snake it, snatch it, steal it all the time, but this is mom's blanket. So I have that. Right. Bruce got his food and water. Now the bunny needs some dry food. Milo, are you just a happy boy? Look at you. There's that. He has his water on his cage. I just leave it like that while we're camping. Here is my baby. Are you happy? Yes, you like coming Get out here. Hey woman, go get me a beer. Absolutely not. Get your own damn beer. You didn't even bring my chair out here. You just brought one chair. I only saw the one. The other one's right next to that one. I missed it. Be careful, Enzo. Pay attention to what you're doing. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get inside. Organize this food. I'm gonna make hot dogs. Do you want a hot dog? Yeah, the boys are hungry. Hot dogs, chips. I'm gonna have potato salad. Yes. Oh, are you gonna put the hot dogs out there? Ooh, I ain't gotta cook. I will always be excited when I don't have to cook. There's like this meme that's like, I always find myself sitting and waiting for mom to cook the meals, and then it dawns on me, I am the mom. So I have to cook. That's the, like the story of my life. All right. First, I want to just wipe off these counters, and I just use Lysol wipes. It works really good on everything in the camper. If in the future I follow through with my plans, I plan to retire into a camper, and I want to redo the whole inside of the camper to be more of like home furniture instead of camper furniture. But for our lifestyle right now and what we utilize the camper for, I honestly just leave it how it is. With just the camper furniture. It's really easy to clean, maintain. We go out in the woods and camp a lot and ATV, razors, things like that. So I just keep the camper furniture. However, when I retire, baby, I buy me a Montana one of them million dollar campers. 
one of the million dollar RVs rather, I should get an RV. I am gonna gut the hole inside and buy me all the furniture I want, customize the furniture if I want to, and really make it beautiful and homey inside instead of just like a sterile camper. But for now, this is definitely the best option. All of Toby's papers are coming out. from his shoes that he wears for weeks. <laughs> it's so funny, I made it all the way over here. Alright. This is Enzo's backpack. He brought his Nintendo Switch. Here's the bathroom. Super cute. That door leads to my bedroom. A little vanity. The sink. The shower is super nice. Dinner time! Easy dinner night one. Okay. You're so lucky. You never get soda. You're yeah. spoiled. Spoiled when we go camping. That's how life is. This is just, oh, that's how life is, Enzo. <laughs> you get spoiled when you go camping. <laughs> it's just beautiful out here, huh, baby? You could sit like that for hours. You're so sweet. Everyone showed up now. This is our camper. Everyone like positioned so we have like a nice little blocked in area. Keep all these little kiddos safe. Oh yeah. There's Racy wearing my hoodie. I forgot jackets, of course, for the boys. It was so hot when we left. I didn't think about it. So Racy's wearing my hoodie. It's down to his feet. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> this Gatorade Frost Crisp and Cool. My favorite. I get this big old thing at Sam's Club. I think it's like six or seven dollars. And I put it with this. Ooh, that is fire guys i mean so hot fire love it it's so good you literally don't even taste the vodka tito's vodka is like water i am here for this combination um i double the gatorade though in a mix of water otherwise it gets really watered down with this and i'm not gonna lie i have done straight this with this and it is tastes so good and my absolute favorite go-to is these day drinking it's can the wine um you'll see right here it says by little big town have you heard that song by them day drinking i think the song is terrible personally but they based this off of that song and it is canned wine because y'all know your girl is classy they have three different flavors and i am more north than south now so I was able to get these in North Carolina and my friends in Kentucky are able to get them easily. But here in Colorado, I've had to order them. But if you can get your hands on this, try them. The watermelon, my favorite. If, <laughs> Rice is hollering at me. If you can get your hands on this, try this guys. So these are my drinks of choice for this camping trip. Let me know if you guys try these. Let me know what you think. You can go 50 miles an hour. Good night. Say good morning. Good morning. The boys had some cereal and donuts and juice boxes. 
I do not have cereal. I had this uh, juice box and donut because I don't like yeah, yeah, you making like, my tummy yeah, feel bad. Yeah, yeah. You don't like making your tummy feel bad? Good. And what did you have? Mm. I <laughs> done. Done. Okay. <laughs> I am going to get myself cleaned up and then come in here and clean up the boys room, clean up from breakfast, make my bed, get Milo outside, and then go for a hike. Milo is in his cage. He is like, how dare you feed me in this small cage? Oh my gosh, poor baby, look at him. <laughs> he is a free roam, so he is not used to being in a cage, but at night in the camper, I keep him in there just to keep him safe. I'm gonna go take him outside first. Day two. I got the camper picked up. I'm gonna get my shoes on and head out for a hike. Come on, babies. Bruce will just stay with us. He's a good dog. My dog, when, when we're in the mountain and she never, and we don't have a leash on her, she'd like, she would like run away. <laughs> Look at Brucey. His face, he's like covered in stickers. Can you... He just was following us. And I didn't even realize until we got back to camp. Look at his poor little face. I got the majority of the stickers off around his eyes so that he could open his eyes okay. Um, I did that with a baby wipe just to get him off and around his ears a little bit. But all underneath his belly is covered, his paws. So, I'm gonna give him a bath in the sink right here. And I'm just gonna use conditioner, like straight conditioner um, and try to just soften the hair so I can just like comb them through, like just comb them out of the hair. Oh, look at my baby. You sorry this happened to you? I know, I'm sorry. Poor little Brucey. Oh, poor little Brucey. And this is the camper. <laughs> this is the camper. Enzo wants a YouTube channel. So when I asked him to help me record me brushing Bruce out, he got excited. You did, didn't you get excited? I did. Oh, you're so cute. So I told Enzo, because mom doesn't have a whole lot of time, that when he gets his own phone, he can like record his own YouTube content and I will help him edit it. But as far as the recording, with awesome effects, with awesome effects, mom will, mom will do the, mom will do the editing. But as far as the recording goes, when Enzo gets his phone, he'll have to do his own recording, and then I'll of course screen it, edit it, and upload it. So, Darn, you dropped the fork. I know I dropped the fork. It's I have conditioner in his hair, so it's slippery. I'm trying to make it as easy as possible. But so I'm thinking we'll get Enzo a phone. Hopefully soon. I don't know when. Don't get your hopes up. I see your eyes lighting up. We'll get into the phone. And then once he has a phone, I want to make sure it has a really good camera. So an iPhone. So that you can start a YouTube channel. Because I think YouTube's awesome. I want you to pursue all your dreams, my sweet little love. What kind of channel are you going to do? I'm probably going to do, like, I'm probably going to try to draw better and make, like, cartoons. You draw like, so Like, the odd good. ones out. Yeah? You draw so good. Guys, Enzo draws amazing, and he doesn't trace. Like, he watches a lot of tutorials on YouTube, how to draw, and... Yeah, like, Super Mario, mm -hmm. Mario, Luigi, um... I tried to draw Pikachu once, but it wasn't that good. And the it Lego good. Hulk. 
can hold the camera up so they can see guys. So you gotta, you gotta practice. Um, Enzo does, he just follows these tutorials and guys, they look stinking good. Enzo's only, how old are you? You're seven. Seven. A half? Yeah. Almost gonna be eight in December. He can draw and I'm just so excited to see his future. So you're gonna do, you're gonna do videos of you drawing the tutorials? Uh-huh, and then I'm gonna play like video games like Friday Night Funkin', Mario, Super Mario Maker, Odyssey. You gonna do Fortnite? Mm-hmm. Bruce has the majority of the stickers out. Um, I think when he dries, I'll be able to like run my fingernails through his fur and get the majority of the rest of them out, but he's better, he's just cold, so I'm gonna get him outside in the sun so he can warm up. <gasps> Look at these stickers. Enzo just came back from out hiking and ah, I said axing, out chopping up wood. Stay right there. That's the worst. How's that feel? Good? Love you. Okay now, baby. There's your beautiful face. We got all the stickers out now. He's okay. See, I'm okay. Oh, handsome. You're a good boy. Lunch is almost done. Every time we go camping, this is Enzo's hammock and he hangs it himself. And I'm always so impressed. He lounges. Hi, what? sweet. <laughs> I was just showing off your mad skills with the hammock to our friends. I'm just always impressed with your hammock. I think you're awesome. You're amazing. <laughs> What do you think? I did. You like it? Yes, yeah, I Is that fun? That's fun. <laughs> Is it wee? Huh? What? Wee -wee. Is it wee? No, it's not wee. Oh, you want me to swing you? No. There you go. Um. Take a nappy. <laughs> you ready to get out? Okay, you have to have mommy help you to get out, okay? Don't get out on your own. What? Don't try to get out on your own. Here, I'll help you. Sit up and then put your feet down. Good job. There you go. Pick up this bottle and go put it in the fire pit. Got to pick up everything. You have to go put it in the fire pit. We're waiting to see what the weather's going to do. So we hurried up and packed up all our chairs and everything and it's rained for just a few minutes and I just made dinner in the camper. But we came back out and it was clear, like clear like this. And then it started sprinkling again. And there's a pretty ugly, it definitely, it already looks like it's breaking up back there. Hopefully it does. <sighs> I love just sitting by the campfire for hours, drinking, hanging out. So hopefully, yeah, I guess we'll better, better go get the s'mores in just in case we can't do them later. Well, it looks like dad has like the chairs and stuff set back up. So Except for mine. We'll set yours up, babe, go get it. Get it set up, I'll get the stuff for s'mores. I didn't even turn the lights on in here. I just kept you guys in the dark. I'm gonna get the boys the s'mores stuff. Oh, looks like they have the chair set back up, so maybe we're just hoping for the best here. Possibly. I have these really cool s'mores sticks. They're like all colorful, so you can pick which color you want. And I always just pick for the boys. Royce wants red for Spider-Man. And then Enzo's usually happy with blue or orange. He'll get blue. And then they're like telescopic. Pretty sweet. 
And they're in this nice little pack here. All right, let's go. I do don't have any. Boys, you're gonna not want to do it. You okay, Enzo? That's good, Royce. That's good. You don't like yours crispy. Perfect. All done. Eat it. You like yours just warmed up. Blow it, Enzo. Don't touch it. Blow it. Don't touch it. It's hot. Where are these? What? Yes, yours is perfect, Enzo. Good job. Is yours done, Royce? Yeah, it's yucky. Yeah, yucky. Yeah, yucky. Oh, I just said this right here. Yeah. What no, Mom. Well, then. Here, this one's good. No, one. Well, then. Okay, they, let they me have it. One. Okay. No. Oh, no. Don't touch it to anything, okay? <laughs> Go ahead, baby. Today is our last day here. We are just packing up in the morning. On our last morning, we just wake up, feed the boys breakfast. I clean everything inside, put everything away. Um, I get all the dirty clothes, laundry on my bed, and then I just wrap it in the sheets so it's just like an easy bundle to carry in the house. I pack up all the groceries while we're still here into the Walmart bags, any Walmart bags I had left over. So that literally it's just like, we get home, grab and go. We're done, go store the camper. Um, so I'm gonna get this place cleaned up. Then we can get out of here and get home. Um, it was a really fun, relaxing, easy weekend. Not a whole lot happened. We didn't do a whole lot and I loved it. I love these trips. The boys oh, love them. I typically don't let Milo out in the camper because he likes to be a little destructive, especially in places that aren't familiar, but I let him out so he could get some food and water. Stop. <laughs> You're so funny, Enzo. But I just wanted to show you guys how cute he looks. Enzo says, we have a dilemma, mom. I can't find Milo. And I said, oh, he's just behind the couch. He's not, he's <laughs> under. He's not behind, he's under. Yeah, we didn't realize that he could go behind the couch and get fully under oh, we it. Oh, didn't realize? I didn't realize. Enzo realized it, I didn't. So then we doing? lifted up the feet and we could see his furry little tail. Look how cute he is. <laughs> yep, say bye-bye. All right, we are loaded up, we're done. We are headed back home. We're gonna stop at a dump station go home, unload our few things that need to go back in the house, and that's it. Thank you guys so much for joining me and my family on our little camping weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.